Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Okay, so um, I the sun is good, the sun is out, but I've been I've been taking lots of photos down by the beach. I've been taking lots of photos in kind of urban environments, and I think I need to take something. Um, I need to go somewhere green. I need trees, maybe some fields, but but mainly I think I need trees. I need flowers. I need plants, and I need to take some macro photos for uh, this month's uh, amateur photography of the year competition. And I haven't done anything yet. So I think when I go up to a place called, I think it's called Hundred Acres Wood, um, or Thousand Acres, something like that. Anyway, up by Fairham, um, and I've got my 600D. I've also got my um, M42 135mm lens with the adapter tubes uh, for doing macro work, the extension tubes, sorry. And I've also brought my flash, my uh, ETTL cord, and I've brought some coloured gels as well, coloured filters to go on the front of the flash. I might, I might even get creative with some flash work in the trees maybe i don't know that's a bit advanced for me <laughs> but anyway let's get up there have a nice walk have a bit of exercise and hopefully maybe i'll be able to find some little critters to take macro shots of or uh, even if it's just some small, small flowers or plants or bits of wood at least i'll have something for the uh, the competition and the flicker group right let's see what we can get Okay, so um, I've come up to 100 acres. Ouch, stinging my horse. Um, the main bit actually is packed with people. So I've actually uh, come across the road and I'm heading down into the kind of through a forestry commission's bridle path. But it looks a bit quieter down here. I think I remember years ago, I used to bring my mountain bike here and do um, lots of um, cool mountain biking. But unfortunately, I'm a little bit beyond that at the moment until I get a bit fitter. But it looks quite, looks quite interesting. Hopefully, I'll be able to find some bugs and plants and things that are worth uh, taking uh, taking pictures of. But this is the kind of area, so you know it all looks um, all looks quite interesting. So uh, let's see uh, see what I can come up with. Okay, so I thought I'd um, show you the kind of setup I'm using at the moment. So I've got my, um, just hot this probably. Oh, I've got my uh, 600D, you can see there. I've got my YN565EX uh, automatic flash on the top. And then you notice I've got it aimed up with the little bounce card on just so I can flick the light down so it comes at more of a, an angle to get a few more shadows on the subject. Because although it is a big flash, it's still fairly close to the lens. And the lens, I've got my um, Helios, Helios, yeah, Helios 135mm f2.8, I think it is, and then you can see the extension tubes there, um, so that gives me a pretty good macro. And obviously, with the 600D with the 18 megapixels, um, I can crop in quite a long way as well. The biggest thing you're fighting with this sort of uh, setup is really narrow depth of field, really narrow depth of field. We're talking maybe a, a millimeter or two at the top, so you've got to uh, stand really steady. So no IS in this lens, just a manual lens, manual focus, manual aperture. Um, the flash helps to freeze everything up as well. And you know, take a number of photographs. Don't rely on just getting the shot once. Take sort of three, four, five to make sure you get one of them. Um, and there we go. cord but as you can see I've popped uh, a little green filter over just to kind of balance the lights because um, as you can see in here it's kind of pretty pretty green <laughs> not many really bugs there plenty of spiders there not many spiders I think they're all um, hiding during the day um, but I've been done a bit of experimenting as well with uh, moving the camera it's really eerie really quiet here as well um, but I don't know I'm kind of heading back now to the car we'll see if we can find anything way back. I've still got to find a little situation where maybe I can set the flash up and fire it remotely using because uh, the um, 565EX can act as a slave unit to the 600D. Um, well as all sort of flashes can but it can also do it TTL wise so it, you know, I don't know let's have a little bit of a 
gel on it might look quite cool, but I'm not promising anything, let's see what I can find. Mm -hmm.